Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. So we're two hours later and I finally got into SSO. Star Stable's been having some issues, so just in case if you still cannot get into your server right now when this video is uploaded, just be patient and Star Stable's trying to fix it. I'm sure they'll have it fixed in a few hours though, but anyway, let's get into today's video. Falling season is coming and because of that, Star Stable released a brand new update in which we can help mares with their foals. So basically the website says that this girl named Violet right here at Jasper's old house has a mare that is about to give birth to her foal and we need to help her out. It also states that when Violet is sure you can get by on your own, you'll be able to find even more horses that need your help, which means we do have quite some things to do today, so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Here we are with Violet, and she is a Jorvik Ranger, which you can see by just looking at her outfit. Her outfit's really cool. Hey there, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? The returning migratory birds are singing. The first flowers are in bloom, and that mare over there is about to give birth to the first foal of the year. That's right, spring has come to Jorvik. It's up to us Jorvik Rangers to make sure all foals are delivered safely and gets a custom to humans, but we're unusually short-staffed this year. You seem to have a strong bond with your horse. Could you lend us a hand? Delivering a foal in itself is not really all that complex. Healthy mares are well equipped to give birth without human assistance. That said, it's important that we stay with the mare as the foal is born to make sure the foal is healthy and that the mare doesn't reject it. Pregnant mares tend to be skittish, so you need to approach her carefully and show that you are not a threat to calm her down. Oh, so here we go. We have to approach our target, and this target is the mare, I assume? Move while the arrows are green. Stop when they turn red. The arrows will go red faster the quicker you move. Click the target to complete this minigame. Okay, so we are almost there. I guess I can click on her now. You stay with the mare, making sure it keeps calm. Is it already gonna give birth to its foal? Cause that'd be so cool. A healthy foal was born. Aw, oh, look how adorable, you guys. That's so cute. Looks like a healthy little foal. Nice work. The next step is to make sure the foal gets used to humans. This is where the real work starts. Oh, so now we have to click on the foal, I guess? Wary. The foal is wary around you and keeps close to its mother. It doesn't seem to trust you yet. This foal wants to be fed. Then we're gonna feed it, obviously. Okay, so now we need to keep clicking on the foal and doing all of these options until it fully trusts me. So I guess I'm gonna do that now and network error. We are back in the server. I'm sorry for the little inconvenience. Star Stable has been having some problems, but for some reason I'm back in my home stable and I just had a network error near Jasper's old house. So that's kind of weird. And I think I also have to do that quest again, which Star Stable, what's going on? So what I did is I just looked up the Star Stable page on Facebook because usually they let us know what's going on right there and they said that they were restarting the servers several times to make sure everything goes right. So that is the reason why everything has been reset as well. So let me quickly redo the quests and I'll be right back. So I don't seem to be able to get any further than feeding. So I just took a look at the Star Stable website and it says secret tip. Sometimes the fool will need some extra rest when you've been working with them. Every now and then, you might have to leave the baby alone with its mother for a while before it feels comfortable around humans again. So we're gonna leave it alone and talk about some other stuff in the meantime. The great thing about these quests is that the first mare, which is this one over here, is available for all Star Stable players, which means both Star Riders and non-Star Riders. Now, if you have finished this one, you need to be a Star Rider to continue with the other three, I believe, but the first one is totally free, so I think that's really nice. And like I just said, there's a total of four mares to find around Jorvik, including the one Violet will help you with. So when we're finished with this one, there is three more to go. Now, don't be disappointed because there are only four foals due this week, because in the upcoming weeks, more foals are going to be due. So just keep an eye out on the Star Stable website or on my channel, of course, and I will let you know when new foals are released into the game. That 
being said, Star Stable also has, for the brand new season of spring, which starts tomorrow, at least for me, a brand new loading screen, and it's this one, and it really does give me those spring feelings, and I like it, and it's, it's nice, you know? Not really that exciting, but just to let you know, there is a new loading screen. So after watering the mare over here, I just got a notification that the foal has grown more friendly to me, so right now we can train and cuddle. Now right here it says that it wants to be fed, to be cuddled, and to train, so we're gonna do all three of them and I'll be right back after finishing that. And the foal has grown even more friendly towards me, which means that we probably can do the last activity right now. So the last activity is follow, and right below here, the text changed as well, and right now it says, this foal is friendly towards you. It seems to enjoy your presence a lot. You can now return to Violet in Moorland to collect a reward for this foal if you have not done so. So first we're gonna do the follow thing. Um, let's see if it actually like follows me. Oh yes, it does. Look at that guys. The foal is actually following me. Now, like I just said, Violet has a reward for us and I just read this fooling instructions thing and for every single foal that you become friendly with, you earn 500 Jorvik shillings. Seems like you've befriended that foal. Nice work. We have to talk to Violet again and we'll receive our 500 Jorvik shillings. There are many foals about to be born around Jorvik this time of year. If you run into some, just remain calm and repeat what you have learned here. I'll pay you 500 Jorvik shillings for each foal you can grow to be friendly with. See? That's really cool to be honest. Like I just said, there are three remaining foals and one of them is right here near the Silverglade vineyard in this paddock. Now, if you come across a pregnant mare in a paddock, you'll come across this exclamation mark over here. Now, if you click on it, you first need to dismount though. If you click on it, you'll get to do the quest that we just did all over again. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. And another healthy foal was born. I really like the coat on this one. Look at that, it's so adorable. Now we just need to do everything like we just did with the North Swedish horse foal, and like I just said, I'll be right back. I am back and I'm finally friendly with this foal as well, so now let's continue on to the second one. Or actually, the third one, I'm sorry. So now that we finished that second foal, our third one for today is right here in Veildale Paddock. So let's go ahead, click on the exclamation mark, do the quests and all that type of jazz, and I'll see you guys very soon when I finished taking care of this foal as well. And here we go, another foal that has become friendly with me, you guys. Um, the very last one is actually in Mistfall, and we are gonna do that right now, so I'll see you guys back in Mistfall. Okay, so the last one is right over here in this paddock in Mistfall, and we're gonna take care of it, see if it becomes friendly with us, and then we're gonna return to Violet to pick up the 1,500 Jorvik shillings that we have left to collect, which is a lot. So I'm excited. Let's get into this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and I am also friendly with the very last fool. So now let's call for a pickup, take the trailer to more land and collect our rewards. <laughs> So basically, that was it for today's video. Now, I do want to say something else about Star Stable's brand new office, and if you want to see more pictures, I have two posts that will be linked down below in the description box, and I will show you a few pictures on the screen right now as well about their new office, and I really love their new office. It is so Star Stable, and it's just great, so go check it out. That being said, I also want to repeat that there are more foals due in the upcoming week, so if you want to be notified, follow my channel, subscribe down below, or just keep an eye out on the Star Stable website, but I feel like this is a more efficient way. I don't know why, it just, for me, it would be a more efficient way. So make sure you subscribe, and we have come to the end of this video, I guess. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video playthrough of the update. If you did, don't forget 
forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. Also, if you want to see more videos of mine, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you'll never ever miss out on any videos I upload. And last but not least, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think about this update, and I hope I'll see you back on Saturday with a brand new video. Bye guys!